Snoop Dogg and Co. Wetzel are next in a long line of concerts at the Denny Sanford Premier Center in Sioux Falls and all over the Midwest. Couple of lines, Travis Fossing tells us why the region is a hot spot among artists. The Premier Center is set to welcome Snoop Dogg and Co. Wetzel on Tuesday. Down to limited single seats, um, it's nearly sold out full capacity. Concerts of this nature typically take months to put together, but Pepper Entertainment President Jared Johnson says the pieces came together in just days during the week of the Super Bowl. We're on the map now. A lot of, a lot of acts want to play Sioux Falls, uh, especially ones that haven't been here yet. Um, obviously ones that have played keep returning. Good evening Sioux Falls! Location plays a significant role in the process. You get all the artists going to the major markets like the Minneapolis's and Detroit's and Chicago's. Um, so geographically, we're in a great spot. This region of the country, uh, you know, was one of the first to open and see more of the, the concert volume when things opened back up last year. Nick West joined Pepper Entertainment a year ago and works out of Boise, Idaho, and is part of the company's expansion west. We've got staff members now in Omaha, Nebraska, Denver, Colorado, uh, Boise, Idaho, um, and we're just continuing to expand. We've added two new employees here in Sioux Falls, so uh, it's been very exciting and you know it's great to see uh, the company kind of pop a bit. Johnson says tomorrow's concert is just a sign of things to come. You know, it's just great to see Sioux Falls be able to support something like that and, um, and, and embrace really some alternative stuff other than our country and our standard classic rock shows, which obviously do great here as well. What's the next step and the next project we can work on? And how do we grow that brand of the company? In Sioux Falls, Travis Fossing, Kelloland News. And we have provided the link to a complete list of Pepper Entertainment's upcoming concerts across the country with this story on Kelloland.com.